All right, guys, today's uh, tutorial is on Drone Harmony, and we're going to do our first mission. So let me just show you how we get started first. Let's bring up Drone Harmony. And what you want to do is you can zoom into where you are by the top right corner, the little... Uh, dot the target press that and that'll bring you to where you are uh, it shows the blue dot is where I am at, at a parking lot at the mall so now what you would do is when you're sitting at home you can build your mission without going out into the field and uh, then go out into the field and fly your mission so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and take us to the creek that we want to fly along and the place I want to go to is called Ross Creek and it is right here and I am going to fly along this black line here the, the diagonal lines you see is the highway one and I want to fly from there from this creek from one end to the other following the creek exactly in a cinematic slow flight all the way along and the gimbal is pointing all the way along the creek that will be our mission so let's start to build that mission and then we can save it and go out into the field and fly it at a later date so the very first mission we're going to build or we're going to use is you click on the blue dot on the bottom right corner that will bring up the different missions that we can fly we got mapping we got inter uh, inspections we got perimeters we got shapes we got quick and we got manual let's click on manual and as you can see the top one is manual WPS manual waypoints and it's kind of a darker color than the other than the other ones and that's because that one's available the other ones you need to have uh, special requirements in order to do them second one down says define polygon and connect a drone before I can even start using that one so let's click on manual because our first tutorial is on the manual waypoints building a mission click on that now our first uh, thing to do here is create manual flight plan uh, camera profile is the DJI Mavic Pro the start altitude will be uh, we'll set to one meter and below that is the angle of the gimbal and we'll put it straight out at zero degrees straight out and press start okay here's our starting position for our manual our first manual waypoint uh, mission uh, <clears throat> the icons the red icon the red triangle is your starting uh, position the green one on the right the green dot is your landing position and the one in the center is your very first waypoint and what we want to do is build our waypoints all along the creek from left to right so that it follows the creek and points along the creek in a very nice slow cinematic uh, movement so what we'll do here is We'll take the first waypoint, and how you do that is you can see the icons below it. There's a four-headed arrow and a circular arrow. The four-headed arrow, if you hold it, hold it down, you can move that waypoint. And we'll move it to the very beginning of our mission. That's waypoint number one. We will now select the red uh, triangle, which is the start, starting where it wants to take off from. So we'll click on that and grab the four-headed arrow underneath and drag it to a position where I usually park my vehicle. Making sure that I don't park right where the drone is going to start. Otherwise, it would fly into the... And our ending, which is the green dot, we'll click on that. It brings up the four-headed arrow and I can bring it over. And I won't put it on top because then the two yellow lines which I need to access are too close together. I need them farther apart. So we'll just put it up here somewhere. We can always put the ending, we can move the ending one at any time. 
Now, I just clicked on the map anywhere, which deselects everything, and you can see the two plus signs on the yellow uh, lines. That indicates if I press any one of those, I can now call up a new um, waypoint. I can create a new waypoint. So what I'm going to do is click on the upper one, and then click that particular icon or uh, waypoint and drag it oops sorry drag it over to some place relative uh, pointing along that particular creek and I want to get these pretty well defined in here now let's grab the first one and by clicking it and dragging it more to the center of the creek now you can see the red uh, lines coming out. That's the uh, direction of point that the, the drone is going to point. So we'll grab the bottom uh, circular arrow there and point it so that it's pointing along the creek. And then we'll move the second uh, waypoint by grabbing the four-headed arrow and move it more into a relative position so that the drone can follow along the creek. You have to put many waypoints in there so it follows it correctly. And here again, we'll point, we'll point that drone in the direction we want it to fly. Click anywhere on the map. And then we'll take the next plus sign, click on it again which brings up another waypoint and we'll place it uh, somewhere in there and then drag the bottom arrow so that it points along the creek. Click on the yellow line again, brings up another plus sign and another waypoint and put it in another position relative to the way we want to go here again. Another yellow line, plus sign, another waypoint. And keep bringing these up until we get the whole mission built. And I'm going to carry on clicking on the plus sign, adding a waypoint, moving it along the creek so that the yellow line um, is pointing relatively along the creek. So in the bends and turns and stuff is where you want to place the new. Uh, and you can build as many uh, of these um, waypoints as you want. So I'll come back at you when we get to the end. Okay, now we can see that I have a mission all along the creek and the little tr black triangles in all the waypoints are pointing in the direction that the a drone is going to fly. So it, it's pointing all along the creek. That's why you have to do each one individually uh, so that it makes sure that it's pointing along. So now what we're going to do is set up the ending position and then we're going to do our altitudes and the gimbal pitch and the speed of the drone. So we'll set that all up next. You can see my last waypoint here, which is highlighted, has the two red lines coming out of it, is pointing towards the green uh, dot.
Now that green dot is what I, is my landing position. So now I can move that to where I want it to land, which is right above starting position. And you can see in all the waypoints, you can see the number one. The reason the number one is in there is because that was our starting altitude, which is one meter. We don't want to have one meter all the way along our mission. We want to have it uh, 30 meters up, let's say, for example. So I'm going to add two more uh, waypoints right at the very beginning and the end of the uh, mission. So at the very beginning, it's at, let's grab this one here and put it right above the other one. Uh, it's one meter. So I want to add a waypoint from the beginning. So we'll click on the plus sign between the the line, click it again, and grab our first waypoint and put it right above the takeoff position. And I want to orient it so that's turned towards the direction we're going to fly, the yellow line towards our very first one. And we will set the um, altitude for that particular drone or that particular waypoint at 30 meters. So we'll click the uh, pencil on the far left hand side, click the pencil, and we'll s update the altitude. Now the altitude is already set at one meter. So we want to plus 29 more meters to get it to a total of 30. So click on the word meters and add 29 and update. And if we click anywhere on the map, you will see that the number 30 appeared there, which means that that drone is at 30 meters. Uh, it's going to go take off. It's going to go up 30 meters, and then it's going to go towards the first waypoint, which is one meter high. And we'll change all those at a, at a later date here, too. So now the uh, return home, the landing, the plus sign between. Create another waypoint. Grab that waypoint and move it directly above our ending position and we will turn it so that it is facing the direction where we want to fly which is coming home and now the altitude of that particular waypoint we'll click the plus sign again and go to update altitude you'll see that it's already at one and we want a plus 29 more to get a total of 30 we'll do update and now that one has a total of 30 in it also so now the mission is the drone will take off at that takeoff point. It'll go up 30 meters, fly towards the first waypoint by the beginning of the creek, and then fly along the creek, coming to the end, and then from the last waypoint to the home landing position, which is at 30 meters. So, But all the other waypoints have a number one in them, which means one meter high. We want them all to say 30 meters high. So how you do that is you grab the top icon on the left, which looks like a lasso, click it, and now I want to drag a line around all the waypoints except the starting and ending position. So let's start just to the left of the starting position and drag this line all the way around, just holding and dragging all the way around and around this one and connect up with the uh, ending of the line. Now you'll see they all highlighted at one time. They're all highlighted. So let's go to the pencil. If I can get the pencil to move. And we'll do update altitude. And you can see that the altitude is now current is one meter. We want to plus 29, plus 29 to make them all 30, update. And now when we click anywhere on the map to deselect everything, you'll see that the number 30 is in all of our waypoints. So now what's going to happen here when we start our mission is drone's going to take off, go straight up to 30 meters, fly over to the first waypoint right by the highway there at the very beginning on the left of the creek, fly at 30 meters up all the way along the creek to the end, and then fly from the last waypoint there to the home position at 30 meters and then land. Now you can set 
drone harmony up to when it's finished stitch finished stitch mission you can set it to hover or you can set it to land you can also set it we'll do that out in the field you can also set it to uh if it loses control if it loses uh, contact with your controller there's two choices you can either tell it to uh return home and land or you can tell it to complete the mission and then come home and land so now the gimbal is actually pointed straight out at a 90 degrees we don't want that we want to have it pointed downwards at about a 30 degree or 35 degree angle so how we do that is you grab the lasso 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 drag around all the waypoints that you want to change the gimbal at angle to they're all highlighted now press the pencil and now gimbal pitch we'll pick gimbal pitch and we can either drag the line at the bottom there drag it up and down so that you can see the little black arrow pointing at what angle we want to point downwards so we'll we'll do about a okay we want to go to 30 so we'll go to 30 degrees angle pointing downwards and we'll click set and then click anywhere in the in the, on the map not on a uh, waypoint to deselect everything now the uh, angle is pointing down at a uh, 30 degree angle so we can see how our mission is going to fly sort of we can press the blue dot on the bottom left corner this brings up our mission in a kind of a 3d view and we can see what that looks like the green dot in the center is our starting position and ending position so if we drag the little uh dot blue dot on the bottom and drag it from left to right we can see that the bright green um triangle there is the actual gimbal the camera what it's pointing at so once we get to the first one it should change now that's what's what's the uh what the camera can see and you can see that the camera will keep switching for the direction of the creek and it should be always followed along the creek so that it can see at a 30 degree angle the red line pointing from the green triangle downwards is at the 30 degree angle mark that red line there so now it's coming home and then goes down and lands so that is our mission what we can do now is let's save this mission now you can see on the far right hand side there's an uh, an icon that shows 9 25 a.m like let's click on that our mission goes away so it's uncluttering the screen so let's click on that icon again there is our mission again which is the manual waypoint mission so let's go up to the three lines on the top left click down on the plans and flights and let's go to save and let's save this mission and we'll call it ross creek so click on the type a name and we'll call it ross creek and press save okay now this mission is completely saved and we can go out into the field now and park near this is a circular parking lot i can park a little a ways away from our takeoff point and um, then we can fly our mission we don't even have to touch the uh, controller we just have to set everything up for it to fly and i'll go out into the field to ross creek just once everything is connected it's all ready to go let's call up our mission and we'll go to the top under plans and flights go to load ross creek and okay there is our mission let's click on the bottom right corner now what we've got to set here before we take off is uh, on the left hand side we're going to do video autofocus yes set the automatic exposure set to no click next 
Uh, return home is 50 meters high. What's going to happen at the end of the mission? We want to auto land. Uh, the signal, what happens when the uh, signal loss, we want to continue the mission. Uh, set the yaw automatically and the gimbal to manual so I can tilt it more if I'd like to. Click next. Click next. Again, don't forget to turn off the sport mode. Click next. And now it says everything's ready to go and we'll click on the launch mission in the center. And now you don't have to do anything. You just stand back and watch the drone go on its own. There's a lift off. Now all we gotta do is just sit back and watch. And now the drone is flying along the uh, intended flight path, path along the creek. It's kind of cloudy today. I can see the drone just coming overhead now, right at the bridge that I'm at or walking up to. And down bridge there. Coming along nicely. Coming up to the bridge that I'm standing on now. And right overhead. That's going to take a turn here to the left. The closer I would come down onto the creek, the uh, more the creek would be in the center of uh, the screen.
right directly into the sun, right over the sun. And now it will stop recording on its own here in a minute once it gets to, uh, and now it's coming down. And it's coming to just about six feet high right there and we will land. There we are guys, that's the mission.